in Cleveland as the Crunch gets set for the Cleveland Monsters. First of back-to-back -back games between the Crunch and the Monsters. First of four head-to-head -head meetings between the teams here this year. On Cap Data Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts, I'm Lucas Savali with Crunch Head Coach Ben Grew. Ben, Syracuse has won seven straight games last week, three wins in a row. The last one was Saturday in Springfield, a pretty complete 3 nothing win over the Thunderbirds. What did you see last Saturday? Exactly what you said. I thought we... Uh we had a pretty uh, complete game. Like we, I thought we played a very strict uh, defensive game, and uh, we're skating well, creating a lot of uh, scoring opportunities, and uh, our goalie was solid when needed. So was uh, was a good uh, good game for us obviously I know you obviously always talk about that that 60 minute complete effort was that yeah. maybe one of the most complete efforts that you've seen here early in the year well it, it, it's one of the the good game we have played uh, no doubt about it as the crunch won three nothing in that game Connor Ingram was terrific obviously he's now with the Tampa Bay Lightning he gets called up Eddie Pasquale comes down for the crunch here this weekend uh, that's the goalie swap but Connor's been playing great Eddie was playing great before the uh, the call up there so what do you expect to see from Eddie here this weekend well it's a challenge for him he's been uh, he's been sitting for quite a bit now a good uh, 10 days two weeks so it's a challenge for him is to get back and uh, get in uh, game mode right away, get his focus back, make sure he, he's got to feel good about himself. So it's his challenge, but we know how he is, and he's a pro. And uh, we know uh, he's coming here with us, and he, he wants to perform. And uh, so I'm sure he's, uh, he's taking this very seriously. Yeah, and, and something we talked about, obviously, the first month, month and a half of the year was the light schedule that the Crunch had. And, and from that, the goalies had only maybe played once a week, maybe didn't yeah. play it that week. And and since then, the rhythm has been going, especially for Connor here, who's, who had started you know five straight games. So what is the challenge when a goalie doesn't play for a couple weeks stretch like Eddie is facing well, this get, week? Get in this groove. Like it's, it's like a player, like a team. Like when you don't play, when you have to wait – a week before bouncing back or uh, get, uh, playing an, uh, another good game, it, it's tough mentally because when you play well, you want to go back right away. And, and when you don't play well, you want to have a chance to redeem yourself uh, the next night. And that was not happening for us. But you know what? We, we had a lot of opportunities to practice, to put our things in place. And uh, for me, uh, uh, I feel that the goalie were excited to uh, start that uh, that streak of three games in, in a week, and uh, it's for them to seize the opportunity. Crunch are taking on the Cleveland Monsters tonight. Only two games this weekend for the Crunch, both against Cleveland here Friday and Saturday. But the Crunch have really obviously been playing very solid, seven straight wins. What's been the biggest change for this team over the last seven games as opposed to the first uh, handful of games of the year? I think we, we, we bring more grit to the rink every day. And that makes us a tougher team to play against. And it has obviously worked out offensively, defensively. I mean, the, the chances that the Crunch have limited against here of late has been very solid. So what have you seen from the defensive effort over the last uh, couple of weeks? The, overall, the team is way more structured defensively. And um, we play more as a group of five. And I think... The individual mistakes are very limited now compared to a week to a month ago. So uh, I think it's a huge difference. But for me, the, the biggest difference, difference offensively and defensively is the, the, the passion and the perseverance we bring on the ice every day. And, and we talk a lot about the leadership that the, this team has and, and Gabriel Dumont, Michael Bourneval now back for the crunch. Corey Conacher has been here uh, for the last couple of weeks uh, or month now. Uh, and they obviously bring that passion and that that perseverance yeah. to the ice so that must certainly rub off on some of the youngsters how important is that to to have those guys in the lineup consistently now over the last couple of weeks it's huge it's huge when you're a young player coming at this level and you have those guys in front of you you have the great example when you're when those guys are not on the ice every day you don't have any example so you got to figure things out by yourself and with what the coach is telling you and with what you see on video but you don't have those guys in front of you that are taking the pressure out of you a little bit, uh, putting you in your right chair, and uh, showing you how to do things. So uh, I think it's huge. Crunch, you're getting set for the Cleveland Monsters. 
It is the first of back-to-back -back games here between the Crunch and the Monsters here in Cleveland. We're on Countdown to Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts with Crunch head coach Ben Grew. And, and Ben, obviously, last week, three wins for the Crunch and the penalty kill. Both special teams are great. Power play's been very solid all year, but the penalty kill has started to really find its groove. <coughs> What's the biggest difference there over the last uh, two weeks or so? Obviously, the goaltending and uh, Dumi and Bourneval brings a lot of experience to that that PK, but it gives also the other guys a rest. Like we, when you're missing so many guys, you you have the tendency sometimes to overplay certain guys, and it's not the case anymore, which is good for us. Crunch, you're taking on the Cleveland Monsters. It is the first matchup of the season against Cleveland. In fact, the first for the Crunch against the Monsters since the 2012-13 season. So obviously not a lot of familiarity against Cleveland like you know, we're used to seeing Utica and Rochester and Binghamton so frequently. Yeah. Uh, what what does uh, Cleveland bring to the table uh, here in these matchups this weekend? It, it's a, an older team. They have a lot of experience. They can score goals. They they have a good, a lot of skills on on that team. So, um, in this league, you got to be ready. You got to be ready to play day in and day out, and uh, that's a, our challenge tomorrow night. All right, looking forward to it as the Crunch take on the Cleveland Monsters. This is Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you.